Hey friends, today I am here with the mom edit and we're gonna talk about the 10 things in my kitchen I couldn't live without. There's probably a lot more than 10, but we're gonna keep it to that with one honorable mention that I just got in that um, seems really promising. First off, my somewhat more recent in the last couple years anyways, favorite items. Uh, definitely my always pan. I know we've all heard loads of people talking about always pan. I have two of them though, and they are truly the best. They are beautiful, safe, nonstick. They're just so like wonderful to use. I keep mine on my stove because I use it every day that I cook. And the trick for me to keep it really like pristine is to not do too high of a heat. You can still get a nice brown on your food. Um, and then also I, once it's just, as soon as it's cooled, I rinse it easily with a little soap and hot water and um, it just has stayed really beautiful, wonderful. You would not believe how nothing sticks to this baby. One thing I definitely could not live without is my Ember mug. It keeps your coffee hot for up to 90 minutes. Connect it to an app on your phone and you can customize the temperature. I know it's super bougie and I love it because I used to lose my micro my uh, coffee in the microwave, get distracted by the kiddo, and then it would just be sitting in the microwave, not hot anymore again. And I think the reheating just totally changed the flavor of the coffee to me. We're kind of coffee fanatics here in Portland and um, this, does not do that. I do find at the very end that I wanna turn the mug off, which is a button on the bottom. So when I only have a tiny bit of coffee left, I turn it off. But it keeps this totally the perfect temperature for me for like 90 minutes, like it says in the morning, and I don't have to worry about it. It's, the it's like my best friend. <laughs> That's my favorite time of day is coffee in the morning. So. This was a gift and it has, um, we'll show you a little base that it charges on that you could easily put at your desk. I keep it in my kitchen. Um, it's wonderful. I couldn't make it through every day without this thing. And another, you guessed it, coffee item um, is our Capresso Burr Grinder. It's over there on the counter. That's why I was looking that way. It holds your beans in the top. It, has your options for grinding finely for espresso to coarse for French press. And my favorite thing is the newer version. We had an older version. The newer version is quieter, so it doesn't sound like a jet engine taking off in the morning, which is really, I'm very thankful for because before I've had my coffee, I did not want to hear that. So another longtime favorite. I also adore our Breville Smart Oven Toaster Oven. It has so many functions. I can't even list them all, but it does do air frying. It does, it toasts, it bakes. One of my favorite things it does is it proofs dough. So if you're a baker and you like to bake bread, pop it in there and you get such a beautiful rise without having to worry about where to put it that's warm in your house. We use it every single day for toasting, reheating, baking. It's like a whole second oven. You can fit, I can fit my whole Le Creuset razor in it. Um, so it's really lovely for almost having a second or really essentially having a second oven. It's great for the summertime because you don't have to heat up your full size oven. I could go on and on for this whole video about how much I love that thing. If you have the space on your counter, it is a little bigger than a regular toaster oven, but it's not huge and it is so worth it. Like I mentioned, we are big coffee people here in our household, not just in Portland. Um, this tea kettle from Fellow we got a few months ago after having the same tea kettle for years and years and years. And this is such a beautiful upgrade. Um, it's so sleek. It is a small profile. It's got a base that you can set whatever temperature you want. It has Celsius or Fahrenheit settings. It is smart and knows if you accidentally leave it on when there's no water in it, because this morning it said no water and then it shut off, which is fabulous. Um, but it's so great and it comes with a little card that tells you the recommended um, temperatures for like green tea, coffee, uh, black tea, etc. And I just really love how beautiful it is on our countertop. Okay, 
this was actually also a gift at Christmas this year and I was like, I opened it and I'm like, dear husband, <laughs> thanks for the spatula. But it is amazing. It is narrow, it is sturdy, and you know, like getting the rest of the peanut butter out of the jar or mayo, anything annoying like that, um, it's just become so useful to have this shape of a sturdy spatula to do all the annoying things with so you don't get peanut butter all over your hands. This item I discovered over the last few years how much we use these, and it's pasta bowls. Um, these aren't as big as some, but actually they've been perfect and we use them way more than our plates. Um, they're great for anything that you're serving. Like we eat a lot of like rice with roasted veggies and eggs on top or like anything that is, you know, more of a bowl style uh, dish, not just pasta, are perfect in these. Ours are Williams-Sonoma and they're their uh, open kitchen line. I love these. They are a full set that I finally settled on, but it's specifically the pasta bowls. We like use those almost every night for dinner and lunch. And I love them. They're the perfect size. I feel like half of my items are coffee items, <laughs> which is not surprising. Um, we've had these French press uh, for years. We have two of them because my husband drinks a ton of coffee and um, they are just so great for everyday use. They don't break like the glass ones. There is a bit of insulation, so they will keep the coffee hot for a bit. Um, they're great. We take them camping all the time. We take them, we took them when we moved out here 10 years ago, we drove out from Nashville to Portland and we took them in the car with our tea kettle and like we are serious about um, having good coffee. So. Um, but these are great and um, we can vouch for them lasting forever and ever. It's not a coffee item. Um, these bench scrapers are just so handy. Years ago, I did not have one. And once I got one, I was like, why are these not in more like just everyday kitchen lists or something? They're just so great when you're, um, you know, chopping veggies or anything and you want to scoop them up, put them in the pan, put them in you know, your Tupperware or whatever. It's just easy, so handy. They last forever if you get one. Um, and it's kind of like one of those forgotten items unless you're, you all are a chef or something. So they're great. Okay, my next item is also kind of a little bit new, but um, I, after years of cooking, you just start to realize what you really need in your kitchen. And this is genius. So it's a set of mixing bowls and they have the nice, lovely little foot on the bottom of each one so they don't move around on the counter if you're mixing or whatever. They each come with their own lid, but also the ingenious part of this is these three attachments that one is a two graters and one slicer for the lid of the largest bowl. Pop in like this and snap in, yeah. So you can grate cheese right into the bowl and it's not getting like all over the counter. You know how shredded cheese like sticks to the counter, it's so hard to get off? Well now you can just have it fall all right into the largest bowl. Um, and it's just wonderful. I feel like I'm gonna get these for gifts for people too, but like all my family, we love to cook. Um, so hopefully they don't watch this because I'm probably going to get some of them this set for Christmas or their birthday or something. Um, it's so great. It comes in black, I think, and gray as well. This is the smallest bowl size so you can see like you've got graduating sizes from here up to here. Love it. So good. I love that it all kind of sits together. It kind of all just stacks very small together. I love that. Um, yeah, so it's a newer find and so amazing. And then I promised one honorable mention item that I just got in. So it's this garlic twist and I've had other garlic things in the past and they either just got, didn't age well, got weird texture from washing or were really hard to get all the garlic out and it's sticky and that's why I don't like mincing it 
regularly with a knife. I'm excited to try this. It fits together. You can see it'd be easy to clean. You can use the base of it to first crack your cl cloves of garlic and peel off the skins. And how it works, like I said, I just got it, but you put the cloves in and then you twist it and it makes like a little, it minces or almost makes a little paste, which usually is totally fine. I'm excited and that's why I said this is honorable mention because I can't give my full review on it yet, but it got a lot of great reviews online and I'm really stoked to try it out. So if you also hate sticky garlic smelling hands, this guy. And there we have it friends, 10 kitchen items I could not live without. One honorable mention, and we will, as usual, link everything up below. Be sure to like and subscribe for more mom edit videos, and I'll see you next time.